All right, another day, another campus, and right now we are sitting right at the middle of this very green, lush uh, Jaipur campus uh, that we came in uh, just now. And when we entered this campus, we actually saw a flock of birds welcoming us. To know more about this particular campus, I have a second-year student, Shweta, with me today. Hi, Shweta. Uh, welcome to KYC, and I'm really excited to know more about Jaipur Institute of Management in this particular particular video of the Jaipur campus that you are part of. Shweta, to begin with, you know, uh, tell me a little bit about where do you come from? Why did you choose uh, to be part of this very beautiful campus and a little bit more about, you know, the campus life uh, that you guys go through? I have been not associated to a particular state all my life like because of my father we keep moving from state to state so I have been in Ghaziabad, Mumbai, Bangalore and now I am in Jaipur for my PGDM. When I entered this campus my first day was like I saw the campus and it was the vibe of positivity of happiness right when you enter you see a beautiful fountain ducks roaming around when I talk about the day how my day uh, goes a typical day would be like so I have opted for hostel uh, facilities. So our classes usually start at 9 a.m. So we get ready for the classes. The campus is well equipped with a, a lot of facilities. We have a well equipped cafeteria. We have a student lounge, we have common rooms. Everything that a student can think of while they are studying. The entire campus is of approximately five acres. And uh, we have both outdoor and indoor sports facilities. So when you enter the campus, you can directly see a basketball court. You can see a volleyball net. There is badminton facilities. The main thing that comes in handy is a library. We have a lot of uh, database systems that help us, like Statista accounts and uh, uh, Spanko accounts that, that you can get to do your research part. Students actually look for uh, these schools. The one thing that they focus on is the placement and the other thing that they focus on is the kind of accreditations, the rankings that that particular institute holds. So can you tell us a bit about that uh, with respect to Jaipur's Jaipur campus? So talking about Jaipur campus, so it started in 2006. It is AICTE approved and it also comes under the top colleges in India. When we talk about its ranking in NIRF, it comes under the 74th rank. That is what Jaipur Jaipur holds as of now. Talking about the courses, uh, there are two courses. First is PGDM. So under the PGDM, that is more uh, towards your choice. Like if you are choosing a specific specialization, you will be learning about it in the second year onwards. For PGDM, that is 180 students. Second the program that is offered is PGDM SM, that is service management. Under that, from the first year itself, you will have certain subjects that are more focused towards service management and for PGDM SM that is 60 students per batch. And uh, what is the fees for these programs that you just mentioned? Okay, so for PGDM that is uh, 9,75,000 uh, and for PGDM SM it is uh, 8,75,000. That's a lot of information about the courses that are offered here. Uh, I want to know specifically if I'm actually looking for these schools, how do I get in here? What is the process uh, to come in here? The basic eligibility criteria is the student has to complete at least three years of education in bachelor's degree. After that, they should have a certified score that is related to their entrance exam. That could be CAT, ZAT, CMAT, GMAT. Uh, these scores are uh, acceptable in the college and uh, they should have a um, proper uh, percentage maintained of 50% at least or uh, si like similar CGPA in their bachelors. This is the shortlisting part. After that when we go into the actual uh, interview process and all, there is uh, first is group discussion then there is personal interview. The students are shortlisted on the basis of personal interview. Absolutely, great. Okay, so uh, we will talk more about the students, more about the campus life and the kind of companies that come in. More on that on the later side, but I really want to explore a little bit more this particular campus and look around the nooks and corners and the beautiful scenery that you can see. And if you can take me around, that'll be great. Yes. Let's go.
ओके श्वेता थैंक्स फॉर ब्रिंगिंग मी श्योर टू दिस गेम आई रियली एंजॉय द गेम ऑफ चेस एंड टेल अस अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट द क्लब्स एंड कमिटीज दैट दिस पर्टिकुलर इंस्टीट्यूट हैज एंड इफ यू आर आल्सो पार्ट ऑफ वन सच कमिटी एंड यू नो यस सो अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट द कमिटीज दैट वी हैव सो जयपुरिया जयपुर स्पेसिफिकली दे डोंट एक्चुअली जस्ट वॉन्ट यू टू बी गुड एट अकेडमिक्स दे वॉन्ट अ ओवरऑल डेवलपमेंट फॉर द स्टूडेंट सो देर आर सेवेंटीन कमिटीज एंड टेन क्लब्स so i am personally part of the alumni relations committee and we take care uh, of bridging the gap between the student and our alumni we want to connect them in every way possible other committees that are the part of the institute are the placement committee we call it cmc uh, then we also have training and development we have irc we have src and uh, the extra curricular committee and a lot more when we talk about clubs uh, then again we have specific clubs for each domain also like right. marketing club hr club for analytics we have a different club so this all is to actually integrate uh, that the student should not be only focused upon study right. they should uh, develop their personal skills their presentation skills and that can also be done by participating in events that are conducted by these committees right. so when we talk about the main fest that jaipuria has that is abhyodaya and that is the national level fest and uh, a lot of colleges from all over india participate in it then uh, we also have our uh, imun uh, we do that that comes under the uh, international relations committee and another big event by uh, jaipuria jaipur is the agman that is a alumni meet that we conduct okay so uh, you know what what we uh, figure out in each of the campuses when we go to these campuses and we do the kyc episode is that every campus has its own uh, usp in terms of jaipur or jaipur uh, what do you think are some of the usps that you can boast about yes so definitely the usp the first one that comes to my mind is the mentor program that we have each student as soon as they get admitted to the college uh, they are given a faculty mentor and that faculty mentor is with you throughout these two years the next is the idp that happens twice once it is before your summer internship that happens of two months and that then another is after that under that industry experts from different industries that that are not part of our college specifically they come here they have a conversation with you to tell you where you need to develop and when the second idp happens uh, they check your progress uh, more about the alumni network more about the kind of offers that you guys get uh, can be discussed later but right now i really want a cup of coffee so if you can help me around with that yes, and if we can go around yes let's go Thank you very much for this oh, evening tea. I really can't function without the teas, and you guys really have a very uh, well lit and well maintained cafe. Huh, I must say. Tell us a little bit about what exactly is the alumni network that students of Jaipuria actually boast about. And when we are talking about alumni members, any notable alumni that you have also encountered or you, know, you have had interactions with. As of now, we have thousand two hundred plus alumni that are connected with us, and uh, every year we add on to it. And each batch is specially connected to the institute. So recently, we had a guest lecture from Mr. Jaisuk Sutar. He is working in HCL as of now. Uh, recently, a lot of alumni were uh, placed in uh, Deloitte as well. And uh, very famous, I would say, our alumni is Mr. Rick Roy. He is working in IBM right now in USA. Okay. And uh, there is also Miss uh, Garima Mathur. She is also working with Building Champions. She is working in Portland right now. Uh, that's a long list of alumni members, uh, to be honest. Okay, uh, you you mentioned about uh, you know students going into different companies, working in different places across the country also, and that intrigues me in uh, learning a little bit more about the student exchange programs. Is there any student exchange program that you guys offer to the students? And yes. if yes, which are the kind of countries that students travel to? About the student exchange program, the main association that we have is Rennes School of Business in France. 
So every year, a certain amount of student they uh, enroll themselves for this, and it is not only about France. They, uh, there is an immersion program in uh, Dubai also. So it is recently going to happen again. Then uh, there is an exchange program with Bhutan, USA, South Africa as well. Now we come to the most exciting and interesting part of the video, which a lot of students wait for also which is the placement bit. What are the kind of companies that visit this campus and if we are talking about salaries, what are the kind of breakups that we are looking at? Okay, so when we talk about placements, so there are approx 375 plus companies that are visiting our campus. And uh, the main benefit that I find in the placement front for Jaipuria is that, it, that a company that is being floated for other branches as well of Jaipuria they are also floating for our campus so it is uh, the four branches the placement is common so all these 375 plus companies they are coming to our campus as of now the placement are going on on online as well and offline placements are also going on right and what is the pay package that we look at uh, so, for these companies so on an average uh, the Jaipuria, Jaipur, you could expect 7.34 lakhs as an average uh, salary that uh, that is offered. The highest has gone to uh, 19 lakhs also. You have a lot of opportunities in different sectors, not only uh, specific to sales or marketing. Uh, there is retail, FMCG, then in finance also, IT operation, analytics also. The uh, college is exploring into analytical prof profiles as well. Alright Shweta, thank you very much. Uh, on that note, I would end this video today. Uh, you really have given us a guided tour of this particular campus. You have talked about the campus life, you have talked about your own uh, day in the campus. You have given us a blueprint about the placement and the kind of companies that also come in. If you guys want to know more about the campus, you can actually check the link in the description. Tell us in the comments below what you liked about this video and how you want us to improve us and what are the other uh, B schools that you want us to cover. And I'll see you in the next episode of KYC.